traditional Chinese culture has uh, uh, a number of uh, characteristics which uh, is not known in the West. Uh, one of them is to hold uh, very small children, babies, up to sometimes three years uh, of age and uh, not, not letting them uh, run around. Uh, this uh, practice, I think, is still going on today in the more remote part of uh, China. Uh, I think uh, by any education standards, it's not the right uh, uh, method. And it's a direct contradictory to the main spirit of the type of, of the school. Uh, So to establish an international school in Beijing, emphasizing 3E is a, in my opinion, a new adventure and a very uh, worthy one. Uh, I am sure that the spirit and the result that will uh, influence the development of education first in Beijing and later in the whole of China. I understand this uh, school so far uh, goes up to uh, the first grade. And eventually it will go up to the third grade. Now, uh, in my opinion, to emphasize the three E is a very important thing for children uh, at the preschool age. How about uh, in elementary school? In high school and in universities? Uh, here we come into a very complicated and uh, hotly debated <coughs> question. And that is, uh, what is the best way what is the best educational philosophy uh, for these uh, children from grade 1 to grade uh, 12. Uh, I myself grew up in Beijing until age 14. Then I went to, uh, and went to college in Korea and earned a master's degree. Then I went to the United States and pursued my graduate education. I lived then in the United States for more than 15 years. Now I'm back in China. So I've been exposed, exposed to uh, the Chinese education philosophy and the American education philosophy. My three kids uh, and uh, granddaughters uh, were all born in the United States and grew up in the United States. So I'm well acquainted with uh, the general philosophy of, uh, of education in the United States uh, also. Uh, I've been asked many times uh, about uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, each of these uh, two systems. Uh, it's very clear that uh, the fundamental <coughs> philosophy and the tradition, the education and the tradition, are very different in China uh, from those in the United States. Uh, if you put it into a nutshell, uh, it's that uh, in China, the main education and philosophy is to uh, is guided study. Uh, while in the West, especially in the United States, it's uh, stimulation uh, is more emphasized. I think uh, my conclusion is the following that uh, both systems have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, 
and uh, any uh, idea that uh, one system is uh, much better than other one, uh, period, in my opinion, is uh, incorrect. Uh, the, the disadvantage of the Chinese education and philosophy is precisely what the, the spirit of the three E school tries to address. Uh, the kids were too much in China, channeled into uh, systems and the concepts and the methods which were pre-assigned by the grown-ups. But uh, it is also clear, if you look at the graduate students from China in the United States, that the graduate students from China uh, in the United States do extremely well in their studies. Like that's the reason why, uh, as soon as uh, China opened up to the Japan's policy in 1979, and uh, hundreds, later thousands, of Chinese graduate students began to appear in American universities very rapidly. The American students and professors learn that uh, these Chinese students are all very well trained, much better trained than their American counterparts. <coughs> 